slider control. That is the secret to controlling opacity with non object. If you've been using Adobe After Effects for motion graphics, no doubt you've come to realize how useful non objects can be. But the problem is, you've probably realized that you can't control opacity with non object. But happily, with slider control, you can easily do that. So, in my case here, I am going to try to control the opacity of these three animating icons. And of course, to do this, you need to create a non object. So, all you have to do is go on top, click layer, go to new, and then choose non object. Once you have done this, go to effects and presets, and then search for slider control. And there you go, you should see it as an expression control. Now, click and drag the slider control. To the null object. And now if I open the null object layer and then go to effects, I can now see the slider control. Alright, all you have to do is link the opacity of the layers you want to adjust to the slider control of the null object. Now simply open the layers you want to adjust. You can make things even faster by selecting many of them at once and then hitting T on your keyboard to access the opacity or transparency settings directly. Now, take the pick whip from the opacity of each of these layers and then link it to the slider control of the null object. Okay, in my case, let me do so one by one. And there you go. Okay, one thing you will realize is that once you link a layer to the slider, it now becomes invisible. And that's because the default value of the slider control is set to zero. All right, you are done. If you go back to the slider control and then nudge it right and left, you can clearly see that you are controlling the opacity of multiple layers at once from the null object. So there you have it. By using slider control from the null object, you can control the opacity of multiple layers at once. For more videos like this, please subscribe and thanks for watching.